everybody, it's Casey from the Real Thing with the Coke family coming to you with a fun new craft idea today to take a store-bought canvas and create a gingham or buffalo check pattern on it and then you can layer beads or whatever on top of it. I'm going to end up putting this on my um, fireplace and changing out seasonal uh, reeds or, or whatever I decide in front. So to do this, you're going to need a T-square. You don't have to have this, but it'll make things easier. You'll need three colors of paint. Generally, um, at least for gingham, usually there's a white, and then you'll want two shades of whatever the other color you're doing is. So you can see I'm doing a white with a lighter pink and a darker pink, so I want mine to be pink. And this is where I think I'm a genius. We're gonna hope that this works. This is a disappearing ink pen that's used in sewing projects. And I'm going to use it to mark my lines off so um, I can make the taping process easier and then it should disappear. And finally you'll need a paintbrush. Alright, so I decided I wanted to do my stripes at two and a half inches. So I'm just going to take my tea rule, tea ruler and my disappearing ink pen and just kind of randomly mark off some two and a half inch lines when I can start with my T roll down at the end and line up those dots to make my line and do the same thing on the other side And if your canvas is large like mine, you can either leave the middle because you're just this is just a guide for taping. So you should be able to figure that out or just grab another ruler and add the line in the center. Uh, so we're just going to keep going, doing that same process, being less prepped. When you get to this point that your tea rule doesn't match anymore, uh, if it were longer, I'd be able to, actually I probably can do this. Um, I think I'm gonna do that mark the first one this way just to make sure. Uh, all I'm doing is just lining up this edge and marking off my two and a half inches. quick before I start showing you the taping part that I've chosen not to paint the white first which would be the kind of typical way to do it because of using this disappearing ink I feel like it I don't know for sure if it will disappear if I were to use this on top of the white so it means that I'm probably gonna have to go back in if I don't like the coloration of the canvas at the end and add my white into those squares um, if you don't like that idea then start by painting a cone of white and I would suggest just using pencil then to draw your lines. So what you're going to do now is take your frog tape, which is my favorite brand of tape because I've always had really good luck with it. And um, I'm just going to follow the lines that you drew and lay down your tape. And to me the trickiest part of this is remembering that you're only taping off every other section because you're going to paint every other section. That's the trickiest part.
now it's just time to go ahead and paint the stripes. If yours is a canvas or something that's going to be on display, don't forget to paint the sides. And that's why I taped off my sides as well. So. As you can see, I've removed the tape. I did two coats of this uh, pink paint, which is the Americana Multi-Surface um, Satin in a Pink Cadillac. And now I'm going to tape off to do the um, vertical stripes. So, because I'm planning to hang this, this the opposite way that I'm working on it, but this is the way it fits on the screen. So I'm using my um, disappearing ink pen again, and I definitely don't see any of the ink left over from yesterday, so that worked, which is a woohoo, right? <laughs> so I'm doing two and a half inches, so I'm going to mark off two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten in each of these white areas. up with these marks here and continue that way otherwise if I start here we might have a funky stripe in the center taking my T-square and lining it up and I'm only going to draw the lines in the white space. I'm not going to put them on the paint. Just like when we taped this way, we're going to tape every other stripe because we're painting every other stripe. And I'm using frog tape, like I did in the last. There's a couple, like one or two little spots, but um, I can go back and touch those up. And overall, it did a really great job. So, just um, the only thing to think through here is like I'm clearly going to have a narrow little area over here if you can see that. And this is going to be a normal stripe. So do I want to paint here or do I want to leave this white and start my paint here? So that's the only thing to think through. I think I want to leave my white here and start my paint here. And I don't need to paint or tape all the way to the edges because they're already painted. So actually I do because you're, you're doing a second layer of paint on there. So make sure and cover your ends again.
now this is just going to be painting these stripes just like we did the other ones. I did two coats of the pink that I just painted in this stripe, some of which was going over the original stripes that I painted. And now it's to the what I consider to be the confusing part of making this pattern, the part that I have to think really hard about. So we're going to tape off another section and paint what's left, the remaining squares in, our, in my darker pink or your whatever your darker color is but we have to make sure we tape off the correct one. So I'm gonna pull up a piece of tape here a little bit so you can see which one you wanna tape off. So this is the original that we did going this way, and then this is the new section that we just did, and we have this one white square left. And we're going to put our new piece of tape going along this line that has the white square. So um, it's the one that it runs parallel to the original. So we're going in between where we um, did the original stripes. And then once I have, so on mine, it'll be one, two, three, four pieces taped off. I'm gonna paint that with my Americana multi-surface satin, and this is the Flamingo pink. And I'm gonna do two coats of that as well. I finished all the painting. I pulled up a little tiny corner here to take a peek to see if it seemed like it worked out like it was supposed to. I think it did, but I thought it would be fun to attempt to do this kind of live style for you and we'll see the reveal together. I can't wait. See if it worked. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now I can't get the tape. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at that. Okay, have I mentioned how much I absolutely adore gingham? So yes, I'm going to be like giddy dorky happy as I unveil this. It just makes me so happy. And it's pink. Even better. So it's a little boring, doesn't it? Sorry, I'm doing as fast as I can. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm such a dork. There we 
have it. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I painted this. It's so stinking cute. Okay, so now you know how to do it yourself. Do it in the colors that make you super happy, like these pinks clearly make me very happy. <laughs> and enjoy some cuteness in your house. And if you liked this craft, please subscribe to my channel because I've got tons of other crafts and more cute ideas coming, so you don't want to miss anything. So subscribe. If you like it, hit that like button. Let me know. I'd love to know that you guys love seeing what I'm making for my house. All right. See you in the next one.